about three years ago, we were able to buy these beautiful old buildings, which are just across our field. They are lovely, aren't they? But in bad need of some work to stop them from falling apart. For a long time now, I've been planning for a therapy farm, which is especially designed for my kind of work. A safe, friendly, welcoming place for people to come and get help with their challenges. And somewhere that includes a dry space, so we don't have to work in the rain. This old yard seems perfect for it. And just this winter, we got permission from the planning authority for my therapy farm. That's very exciting and brings me one big step closer to realising my plans. I'm passionate about my therapy work and I know that I can really help people with what I do. It is something I always wanted to do and I feel very lucky that for the last few years now I've been able to work together with my horses and other farm animals to support children and adults with additional needs and I enjoy every minute of it. Yeah, yeah, man. <laughs> What's the bunny rabbit doing, Connor? The bunny rabbit. It's... Bunny rabbit. Bunny rabbit. Mm -hmm. Nice, yeah. good. Going for it. I named my service Harry Henry, after one of my wonderful therapy horses. Together with him and my other animals, I have supported many people so far. The work I do means a lot to me because I know I can make a difference to people, how they feel about themselves and their lives and what they can achieve in life. Sure. At the moment, I run my therapy sessions and courses from the small arena and the barn next to it, which is okay, but there's not much shelter from the rain. And I share the barn with Tim and his metalwork and woodwork and various other projects, which isn't always easy. But now that we have planning permission, I can seriously start to make plans for my new yard. A friend of mine made me the scale model of what I want to create here. And Tim drew up all the technical drawings. I want to convert these old buildings into stables for the animals and a storeroom and a classroom and tea room. This shed will be for all of our uh, animal food and saddles and all the other gear. This lovely old cottage will be our tea room and our office. This barn here will be the new home for the donkeys and the sheep. And also uh, there'll be a room upstairs for students to stay in. And then we'll have a wheelchair accessible toilet and a shower and toilet room upstairs. This will be the outdoor riding arena. And over there, one day, we hope to build a larger barn. Tim had all sorts of interesting, wonderful ideas for it. But in the end, I decided to go for a pretty much standard agricultural shed as the safest option, as this was most likely to get planning permission. So the road is over here. And the planning authorities want us to make a new safe entrance from the road onto our land here. So those trees, unfortunately, have to go. We're going to have to bridge that ditch somehow. And then the track is going up this way with uh, parking spaces uh, along here. It is so exciting to be measuring out the field for the digger to come in sometime soon, now that the planning authorities have given the go-ahead. Now that this project actually seems possible, it has become more important than ever to me to make this happen. Basically, it's the one big thing I want to achieve in my life. 
24 meters this way. Off we go. This is a big expensive project though, so I've decided to try to make it happen step by step. There are 10 steps to achieve and I will need lots of support with each of them. The first step will get us a new entrance and car parking. That's a condition the planning authority insists on. That means felling some trees on the land. We will also get the new outdoor riding arena finished. Plenty to do! Here is what some parents and children say about Harry Henry's. So Connor has been coming down to Harry Henry's for the last three years. He loves to come down here. He when Connor started to come here first, he was pretty much non-verbal. But one day, having been here with Sandra and feeding the baby lambs, it was the first time that he strung a few words together and he said, baby lamb bottle drink. So that was after his afternoon down here with Sandra, which was a major achievement. Come on, baby. Nope. <laughs> Sam is six. He's, he's doing good. He's good. He loves coming down here. It benefits him in the sense that it relaxes him, it calms him down, um, it gives him a sense of responsibility because he's brushing the horse and he's cleaning the hooves and he's getting stuck in and involved and he's taking instruction. So it's keeping him kind of, I suppose, a bit levelled while we're down here. So. Okay. Hi, I'm Ben Connor and we and I've been coming to Harry Henry's for like four years. <laughs> <laughs> it's just really fun! And that's why we need better stables to keep the horses happy and cantering! I'm so excited about this project and there's nothing more I want to see happen. Please, would you help me? I've already invested uh, 6,000 euros or thereabouts in surveyors fees and engineers and architects reports and planning fees and maps and other fees. So my savings have actually shrunk rapidly. Right now there are exactly 390 euro and 22 cent left in the pot, which I have to spend on getting a fire certificate for the buildings. The first step, the new entry and, and all that stuff, would cost another 6,000 euros or thereabouts, which is a lot of money. But that's only a tenner from a few hundred of you, and then we'd be there. I wouldn't actually expect so many of you to be able to contribute, and that's absolutely fine. But maybe you can share this video with anybody who might be interested in what we do, and they might even contribute a little bit more, who knows. Well, one way or another, this seems to be the only way to get this done, really, because it actually turns out that it seems to be really tricky to get funding from official sources for this. So, if you can help at all in any way, by spreading the word or by chipping in with a tenner or five or one euro or fifty cent, that'd be absolutely brilliant and I'd really appreciate it. And um, come on, people, let's make this happen. We will update you on our progress and thank you very much. Bye.